We saw that while people in northern hemisphere enjoy summers in July when the sun is directly overhead at tropic of Cancer, people in the southern hemisphere enjoy summers in December when the sun is directly overhead at the tropic of Capricorn. So which region has hotter summers? The northern hemisphere in July or the southern hemisphere in December? Ideally, both places should be equally hot. But like most things in life, this also has a catch. So let's dig deeper into this phenomena. Northern Hemisphere has summers when Earth's axis is tilted towards the sun, so it gets direct sunlight. Additionally, summers in Northern Hemisphere happen when sun is farthest from the Earth. So this means it gets 7% less energy in summers than the summers in Southern Hemisphere in December. So this should mean that the summers in Southern Hemisphere should be hotter because it gets more energy. However, this is not the case. But it turns out that the northern summers are hotter than the southern summers. Let's see why. This has to do with the amount of land to water ratios in two hemispheres. In the northern hemisphere, there is lot more land while the southern hemisphere has lot more water. Land absorbs heat much faster and gets heated up much faster as compared to water. So when it is summer in northern hemisphere, larger amount of land gets heated up much faster. In the summers in southern hemisphere, the larger amount of oceans take much longer to get heated up, so the overall summer temperatures are not that high. Water also loses heat slowly, so the large water bodies in southern hemisphere which got heated up slowly in the summers lose heat slowly during the winters. This leads to milder winters and summers in the southern hemisphere. And all this is due to the much larger percentage of water in the southern hemisphere. So enjoy the slightly hotter summers of the northern hemisphere or the milder summers in the southern hemisphere depending on which place you live in. Thank you.